Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up a bearded dragon cage. Um, it's pretty simple, but you need a very large cage. Um, this is one 60 gallon cage. It's plenty big for her. Um, see, that's my hand in comparison. Um, her s eye line flames um, bottom with repti sand. It's an all natural quartz based sand with no dyes or chemicals. Um, for babies, I would use paper towels or reptile carpet because babies can ingest the sand and become impacted. Um, I feed my reptiles in a separate feeding cage, so impaction really isn't um, a big problem. And so after I put the sand in, I would put the big basking spot rock in, and I would then put probably the hide, which is just um, a log that goes in the back on the cool side like that so when she wakes up she always hides in there um, next I would probably put this rock right there to keep some sturdiness and I don't have this is not a hide this used to be her hide when she was a baby but now I put it here with the big mound of sand um, second, I put this, like, probably on the rough side, so she gets some, um, I use rock in my cage so she can file down her nails, so they're nice and big. Um, I would then put her veggie bowl, it does have dead veggies in it, but I clean it out every time I give them veggies every day. And then lastly... most importantly water bowl which is kind of dirty too but it basically won't doesn't really matter so that's a bearded dragon cage I'm just putting one last little decoration um temperatures I'll go over temperatures okay the temperatures right now right here is 103 degrees after it warms up right here is 75 degrees or so under that log and right around here it's probably 90 to 95 degrees so it's a nice thermal gradient um how i know it's that temperature is when i i, I have like um a digital thermometer not hooked up to this cage anymore but um yeah you would always want to buy a thermometer for these cages because you never really know the temperature i just do my thermometer needs bring batteries. And for lights. At night I use a ceramic heater that goes down right here. I don't know if that's good, but here, sorry, that's a Power Sun UV which gives all the UV light they need. Um, I would change it every six months. And then right there is an extra basking bulb. This gives off heat, UVB, UVA. Um that should be the U only bulb in this cage but it doesn't heat up the basking spot to warm enough. So yeah guys, oh, and the very, very last thing that you kinda need for a bearded dragon cage is the bearded dragon. This is Flame. She's small, but she's good. And she's very sweet too. She does not like being held, but that's her cage. And for the holding box, I got this at, I think, the reptile show. To bring my frogs in. See so ya yeah, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.